everyone. I am Sherry Warner. I'm the CEO and system strategist at Very Niche Solutions. And uh, this is um, part of my Fine Tuning Friday series. So welcome. And um, today I want, I'm just showing you how to get your color palette that I'm assuming you've already made. Talk about it, making it in another video. Uh, into Entreport. So it's just um, basically how to do it, how to throw your custom color palette in, and then where to find it in all the different, so pages, forms, um, messages, everywhere in Entreport. All right, so I am in um, Entreport, and I'm going to show you how to create um, actually, not necessarily how to create a landing page, but um, how to set the colors in your landing page. Uh, so let's actually, I'll just pick this one. I almost always start from scratch, but it's easier to just have something already created. So this is one of their templates for a page, and it is very orange right now, which is cool, but. Um, uh, I want to change it up and I'm going to change it to this palette I have on the left. Um, if you see my color lovers video, um, you will know how to make this palette. If you have not seen it, uh, you might want to go in. I really like color lovers for storing palettes. They give you the, so you can put your colors together, then um, go in to your palette and get the hex code or the RGB code, depending on what you what you need where it's usually hex for um, anything online and then you just copy and paste that code in and it will change the color so the standard complementary color if i were going to go monochrome would be that one and then i've got my beautiful dark super dark purple and then I've got my light gray but in the in a purple tone so that it sort of goes with the with the palette um, and then I'll leave the white in place and I can click save and then I'm actually going to change out the um, complementary color on here to be a bit more bright just to have access to it um, but depending on what look you want you can do different things with it um, and actually their logo goes with this pretty well on on the example um, and then you just pick for your page, you can select what you want each um, each element to look like. So this one, this one has a countdown and all sorts of extra stuff. This is way more complicated than most of the pages that I would play with. Anyway, but that gives you an idea of how to where to go to change uh, your color options. Uh, then if you decide you want to go back to that, um, that dark one, the comfort um, color, if you go into color suggestions, you will have your old palette. And actually I was messing around with uh, other versions. And you can see what it'll look like in, with different palettes here. So they have various suggested palettes. Um, but then as you create your own, uh, it adds new ones for you. So um, put that back, save that. And that's how you do palettes in pages. Now you may want to create a form in Entreport instead of a page. And the fundamentals are basically the same. So create a new one, 
Uh, this time I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, so the reason I didn't start from scratch the first time is it just saved me a step so I didn't have to add a block. So um, there's a good block and when you start from scratch it'll start with the standard um, Entreport blues and then you can plug in the colors the same way we did um, in the pages. But you'll also find that the color palettes that I added before are now in here as options. So um, you can then select each block. It's just way faster. Um, select the block, decide the color you want it to have, crazy yellow, and, um, and then spend your time building the form instead of having to um, enter the colors in again. Next up, we're going to go to messages and create a new message. And do the same thing. Um, you can use a template or start from scratch, whatever you'd like. And then again, you can um, just adjust some of the colors, um, make yourself a new palette, or you can go back to one of the palettes you've used before and hit save, and that will um, switch it up. So in this one, it's only it's changed a few buttons, some things down here, but it makes everything uh, match. So it's a really nice way to get your branding everywhere rather quickly. One more spot that you can use this is in um, in your administration section. In the emails, you can when you're creating your invoices and uh, double opt-in forms. I'm going to do a new message one. So if I want to make a new um, double opt-in form, maybe I'll just copy the one I already have because it's easier. And then if I want to change the color palette, again, I can choose different color suggestions. Looks like I've used that one so much, I'm actually losing the one that I like best. So I'm not going to actually click on it this time. And uh, then you hit save so you can get the same colors in the your double opt-in form. Uh, and the same with the invoice. Just copy my my receipt. Um, so you can do the same thing. It's in the same spot up here. So there's it's it's nice because once you've got your uh, branding colors in on support, you can put them everywhere. I hope that helped and um, feel free to check out more videos and do please subscribe if you want to see more of these things and feel free to comment ask questions and i will or um leave a comment on my contact me section on my website if you have a more specific question if you want a video about uh, something in particular let me know